Welcome to another tutorial from PhotoshopIsFun.com. Now I haven't done a tutorial in a while, but a couple of weeks ago Adobe released Photoshop 2014, which is the latest iteration in the Creative Cloud series. And after reading through some of the new features and then playing around with them, I got really excited to uh, kind of get back and do some more tutorials and show you what's new. So one of the um, technologies that I want to cover in this tutorial is called Color Blending, and it's a complement to all of the Content Aware features. And you've probably used Content aware in the past. I know I've done some tutorials on them and um, it works really well generally but there's always some cleanup work that it seems like we have to do uh, when using content aware. Now they've done a um, tremendous job with this new color blending technology that's uh, been added into content aware. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, I'm going to show you some of the settings to use etc. Okay so the image we're going to use today is this one. You can see it's a bunch of young whippersnappers on a Saturday afternoon at the skate park doing their tricks and all their uh, shenanigans and what I would like to do is um, move this guy give him some more uh, elevation so we're gonna put him up here in the image so he looks like he's a lot higher and I just want to show you the difference between um, content aware without the color blending technology as well as with the color blending technology so if you're using an existing version of Photoshop with content aware tools then this is essentially this first pass that we're going to do will show you what it would look like or what it should look like uh, when using this image without this new color blending technology so what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate the background by dragging it down to the um, uh, the new layer icon and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and select the content aware move tool and I'm going to draw a generous line around him. And then I'm going to go ahead and just move him up in the scene. So maybe like up here. Let's get him right towards the top. And again, this is without the new color blending technology. So you can see that uh, it moved him and where he was, his, his original position in the image um, is pretty well um, uh, filled in. But where he moved to, you can see the um, line, the blending line outside of him isn't that fantastic at all. So that's what you get with um, the uh, original um, content aware technology. And again, we'd have to come in here and do some cleanup work to make this look good. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background, the original, one more time. I'm going to move it up to the top. And I'm going to rename it to um, color blending just so you can see the difference. And this is the original content aware. And now on the color blending um, layer, I'm gonna go ahead and once again, select content aware move tool and draw a line around him. And this time I am going to basically turn on the color blending technology. So I'm gonna go up to the gear and um, you can see structure and color. Now structure, is essentially the um, you telling Photoshop how aware should Photoshop be of the patterns surrounding the object th that you're moving. So um, how strict should it be to that pattern structure? Three is the default. It's generally pretty good. Um, feel free to play around with it if you don't if you have a very complicated um, uh, background pattern. But color here is um, specific to the color blending that we're talking about. So what I found is that seven seems to be the sweet spot for most photos, um, but feel free to kind of play around um, with the range um, to see what works for yours. So I'm gonna go ahead and move him up here and show you what it looks like with this uh, new uh, color blending algorithm. So again, right off the bat, it looks pretty fantastic. It looks very natural. Um, let me show you the difference between color blending and um, uh, no color blending. So here's color blending. Here's no color blending. So everything about it looks better, um, just hands down. So feel free to go out and get the latest version of Photoshop Creative Cloud and play around with the color blending technology. It's pretty awesome. Until next time.